Have you ever heard of rug pulls or honey pots? These are the names used to characterize cryptocurrency frauds that have robbed investors of millions of dollars. In today's video, we'll learn what rug pulls are and how to spot them so that you and your valuable cryptocurrency doesn't get trapped. Pulls go by various names, including pump and dump schemes, crypto maneuvers, and many more. These actions differ slightly from one another, but they all involve stealing your money. Rug pulls occur most frequently in the decentralized finance system, where anyone can launch their own business. The operational freedom makes it the more alluring platform to carry out these scams. Since there are no intermediaries and all transactions are anonymous, losses are frequently irreparable. The mechanics of rug pulls are deceptively simple. To lure investors, scammers would release a new token and give it a flashy name. As soon as the prices rise, the liquidity pool is depleted and disappears, leaving you with a shiny, useless coin. Some indicators tell you whether a coin or token might be a rug pull. Once you learn to spot harmful patterns, they aren't too subtle. Some seasoned traders have muscle memory for recognizing the warning signs. You too can succeed. Continue watching to learn how rug pulls operate and how to prevent them from coming near your wallet. How does a rug pull occur? What it is? A developer creates an investor attracting cryptocurrency or DeFi project. A dishonest developer might cash out and abandon the project once the investors have committed enough. It's called a rug pull. These are typically quick projects that were put together in a matter of days by people with bad intentions and are occasionally exact copies of other cryptocurrencies. Let's first examine the three main categories of rug pulls and their causes. Number 1. Theft of Liquidity Developers must establish a liquidity pool containing enough cryptocurrency to enable investors to buy and sell to make a cryptocurrency tradable. In most well-known rug pulls, the developer combined a legitimate cryptocurrency, such as Ether, with his freshly created scam token to form a liquidity pool. People begin purchasing the scam cryptocurrency as they become convinced by its value proposition in exchange for their ETH which stays locked up in the liquidity pool for a predetermined time. More ETH is added to the liquidity pool as more investors purchase the fake token, which appreciates in value. Number 2. Preventing the sale of tokens The process is different, but the outcome is similar to the earlier scam involving liquidity stealing. This scam developer inserts code that prevents investors from returning their coins to the exchange. Dissecting this, investors can purchase the fraudulent coin, but due to the malicious code, the developer is the only one who can sell the coins. People will start trying to sell their cash as the price rises to the point where they realize they can't sell the asset as they recognize it. The con artist will eventually decide that the price is too high and sell all his scam tokens, making off with the money. Number 3. Developers are making money This wouldn't seem like a scam in a free market, but if the project were developed with this objective in mind only, it would count. The dishonest developer creates a project with an exaggerated value proposition, much like in the first two scams. The promise typically refers to a platform or feature currently under development and will be made available soon. However, in practice, the developer creates worthless tokens while keeping a sizable portion of them for himself from the start or purchasing them cheaply from the market. The developer will sell his shares as the price soars, and investors will buy the worthless token due to the revolutionary product's promise. He can pull the rug out all at once or gradually. In either case, investors are left with a worthless token and their initial investment is lost. Simple indications of a rug pull Number 1. The project just appeared In contrast to legitimate cryptocurrencies or DeFi projects, rug pulls typically appear out of nowhere. These fake projects usually come with a lot of hype, using current cultural memes already well-liked. It's a scam if a project claims to revolutionize the crypto industry and appears too good to be true. Number 2. Unidentified Developers While Satoshi Nakamoto, a pseudonymous developer, created Bitcoin, the first and most prominent cryptocurrency, anonymous developers for a crypto or DeFi project should be a warning that something isn't right. The most popular cryptocurrencies of today, like Ethereum and Solana, are being grown by a group of well-known leaders. You should avoid a cryptocurrency or DeFi project whose creators keep their identities a secret and remain in the shadows if they have suitable legal justifications. Number 3. 
minimal liquidity. With DeFi projects, it's only sometimes possible to confirm the liquidity, but you can with a cryptocurrency. Low liquidity refers to a token's difficulty being converted into cash, which could result from the developer having only a small budget to create the ticket. The developer can easily manipulate the token's price and lower the liquidity. The best way to determine a cryptocurrency's liquidity is to look at the volume of transactions that take place every day. Compared to a trustworthy decentralized platform like PancakeSwap, which has $301 million trading volume at the time of writing, scam tokens have surfaced with the trading volumes as low as $10,000 US dollars. Experienced cryptocurrency investors generally follow the rule of thumb that the trading volume should be between 10% and 40% of the total market capitalization of the coin. Number 4. Access to Liquidity Developers of well-known cryptocurrency projects frequently relinquish control of the liquidity pool by locking it within their blockchain or with a reputable third party to foster trust and increase public perceptions of their legitimacy. This is known as locked liquidity, and it stops developers from selling any of the tokens in the pool, making it difficult to steal tokens or significantly reduce liquidity. The likelihood of a rug pool decreases with the time the collection is locked away. On the other hand, the developers could withdraw the liquidity and leave if it were not locked. However, determining whether the liquidity is closed is a somewhat tricky process. Number 5. Total value locked is low Another trustworthy metric to assess a cryptocurrency or define a project's legitimacy is TVL. This is a reference to the overall sum put into a specific task. For instance, PancakeSwap has 14 billion US dollars in TVL whereas scam projects may only have a few thousand dollars. The likelihood of a potential rug pull increases with project age and TVL. Number 6. Distribution of tokens in an unfair manner When you look up a project's token distribution on websites like Etherscan, you can see who holds the most tokens and how they're distributed. Selling all at once is simple. If a single wallet or two have a significant portion of the token supply, 5% or more increases the likelihood of price manipulation or a rug pull. Therefore, it is safer to invest in cryptocurrencies the more evenly distributed the token supply is. Number 7. Website with little effort and no social media presence Scam tokens frequently have a simple, quickly put together website that was copied. On the websites of some of these fake projects, it says work in progress or launching soon. Additionally, these projects won't have any social media accounts or will only have weak accounts. Investors should note if a crypto or DeFi project's social media pages need more sincere community interaction. This holds for a project's white paper as well. Occasionally, white papers for scam projects will be either very brief or copy-pasted. The white papers for Ethereum and Solana are each 36 pages long. A much shorter white paper is a red flag that a cryptocurrency project might not be legitimate if it was created overnight. Number 8. No audits Independent security audits or financial transparency reports that attest to the legitimacy of the most notable cryptocurrency projects will be available. For instance, Cardano has strengthened its security through multiple and independent source code audits. A scheme without a third-party audit isn't necessarily fraudulent but it indicates that you should do your homework before investing. Comment below and feel free to ask any questions regarding the video. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to receive notifications for every video on the blockchain portal. Thanks for watching.